Did you wake up with a stiff neck today? It may surprise you that hundreds of thousands of people just like you woke up today with a stiff neck. It becomes too painful to turn their head from side to side. And for some of them, it may take up to three to four days before they ever get relief. Many of you have tried neck massages, pain pills, braces, and even injections to try to solve the pain. Today, we're gonna to discuss why you have that pain, why so many of the traditional treatments fail, and how to solve that pain. Oh yeah, the solution may just surprise you. Welcome back to the Muscle Repair Shop. My name is Butch Phelps. I'm a functional massage therapist, certified health coach, and an expert in aging sciences. And today, we're going to talk about a stiff neck. Now, for some of you watching this video, you may have woken up today with a stiff neck. And boy, the pain back here is just phenomenal. You try to turn your head and all of a sudden the pain here just hurts so bad that it feels like someone stuck a knife in your, in your neck. The sad part is that everybody wants to treat this pain back here. And that's where so many things start to fail. You see, when you start to turn your head, you have two muscles up here. You can see as I turn my head that are called sternocleidomastoids. And then you have two muscles on the backside that run from the base of your skull down to the inside corner of your shoulder blade. So think of your head setting on four axes here. And as I rotate my head back and forth, for me to turn my head left, this muscle here has to release as this muscle here must contract. And so what happens is that for many times, our muscles get tight on the front side because we're working on our phones or tablets or we're driving our car. And if you notice most of our lives, we're looking slightly downward all the time and the muscles here can shorten. The muscles out here on the outside of our chest can shorten as well. And over time, what happens is the shoulders start to round in, the head starts to come forward, and again, all of this shorten. So when I try to turn my head to my left, for instance, this muscle back here, which is called the levator scapula, actually has to overwork because it's trying to pull against this and trying to pull against this. That makes it very difficult, not to mention extremely painful back here. Now, traditionally, when you get a neck massage or, or you get an injection or people are trying to help you, because the pain is back here, this is where they want to focus. And it is true that as a massage therapist, if you come back here, this part of their body is going to be very, very tight. That's a true statement. The problem is, is that's not the cause. That is the symptom of what's happening. By this muscle over here tightening, when I turn my head, this muscle has to overwork, making it filled with lactic acid because it's burning the, the nucleic acid uh, adenosine triphosphate to make that contraction happen. But because this is not releasing, it's having to contract even harder, creating more pain over here. And so that becomes very much a, an issue for most people. Now the massage back here will soften this up and temporarily may make it feel better. But what you may notice is that the rotation still isn't quite there. Pain pills will help in some degree because they'll reduce the pain. But again, you, as you'll notice the, the rotation is not there. And if, you, and if you're not careful, you'll wind up with a neck brace, which to me is the worst of all of them because by holding the head still, now the muscles over time can have a period of atrophy if it's too long of a period of time. Injections, again, like the pain pills, what they're trying to do is shut the messaging off to the brain that says that this hurts. But again, you're still not getting the rotation that you wanted. And what's funny is you may have never really had it to begin with. It may have just gotten to a point that it was too much pain for you to handle. That's the sad part. So when you start to work on that, what we want to focus on is on the front of the neck. We want to focus on 
the, the outside of the chest muscle here. And so when you're doing that outside chest muscle, for instance, you can do this in a doorway where your elbow is on the doorway and you're gonna use your feet, but you wanna feel this muscle stretching out as you're rotating your body coming around. And that doesn't mean that you twist your body, but using your feet, you rotate your body to, to open that back up. You see too many times people when they're doing a chest stretch, they're trying to push forward with their legs and force that chest to open up. And that's really more strength training. But if you do it the, the way I teach it in our stretch and release technique, you actually allow this muscle here to open back up. The second thing you can do with that is you can do what's called a neck hyperextension, which is you're gonna take your hands here and you're going to feel the weight of your head resting in the palm of your hands. And then don't use the muscles in your neck, but slowly using your arms and start to lift your head as you breathe out. And the focus here should be on getting the muscles on the front side of your neck to release. As you get those to start to release like that, you can actually get some movement back into your head. The tightness on the back side, like the massage therapist will tell you about, Get yourself a tennis ball, put it in a sock, throw it over your shoulder, lean it against the wall. Now, it's not about the pressure. You're not trying to push this out with all your might, but it's about using the tennis ball to find spots on your back that are sore. And when you find those spots, maintain the pressure, breathe out, and allow the body to, or the brain to let the muscle relax. Now, I know for some of you, You've got the Theraguns, you've got the hard balls, you've got the knobbly balls, you've got the, the stick that's curved that rolls over your back and you're just pulling and pushing and pushing and pulling as hard as you can to try to make those muscles release. And trust me when I tell you this, you're just going to fail because the more pain you create, the more the brain is gonna contract those muscles and you're just frankly going to fail. It, it just can't work, there's no other way around that. The same thing when you do the stretching. I'm not gonna take my hands and force my head up thinking that I'm gonna manhandle my muscles and I'm gonna make the muscles on the front of my neck release. Again, that's strength training and that's gonna cause your problem to become even worse. So take your time. When you throw the ball over your shoulder, take your time, feel that. Make sure that it's, you're finding those sore spots. Every spot on your back is not going to be sore, but you will find those sore spots. And when you find one, don't push a little hard because A, you'll put a hole in your wall and B, it's not going to work. But more importantly, put just enough pressure that you can feel where the sore spot is. Give your brain time as you breathe out to allow the muscle to relax. And once the muscle in the back relaxes, it will become soft. And if you do that and couple with these two stretches that I showed you earlier, you can solve that pain. What's funny is these same stretches, I felt people with whiplash stop their neck pain in a matter of just a few days. So a stiff neck, you should probably knock that out in one or two days. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe down below, ring the bell, and share this with your friends. I'm sure some of them have stiff necks as well. And for now, see ya.